Good evening, friends. It is Monday evening, May 25th, and here in America, it is Memorial Day, which in an ordinary year might mean a multitude of things to people. For some, it's a day to sleep in, hang out with the family, have a picnic or a barbecue, go to a parade, um, enjoy some good food and drink and music and friends and family. And for others, it is an annual reminder of loved ones who may have died in service to our country through the armed forces. So wherever you are in your normal traditions of Memorial Day, I invite us just to pause briefly tonight to take a breath and to look outside and to give thanks for the blessings that we have, for the conflicts that we find ourselves in, in our families, in our communities, in our nation, and around the world. There are things we know and things we don't know about those who are serving. There are those who serve in the armed forces of many different branches in many different capacities. I also think of those who are serving in the Peace Corps or um, in the civil service or in embassies or in non-governmental organizations, NGOs, that try to cross boundaries from nation to nation. Those who have a heart for serving in and on behalf of our nation and um, in connection with those from other nations. And even in the church, we have organizations where people extend themselves in service through the National Council of Churches and the World Council of Churches, of which um, one of my former bishops, the bishop who ordained me, Bishop Marianne Swenson, is a leader in the World Council of Churches. And I have a, another friend, uh, Kathy Bannister, who is in Kansas, and she um, served a number of years ago in the World Council of Churches. Not in the same type of service as those in the armed services. But um, for all who extend themselves with the goal of understand of having an increasing understanding and peace and cooperation and collaboration for all these places um, that we have people serving on our behalf to bring goodness to the world. May we lift them up this day. But we do have families. I was looking at pictures today of cemeteries and um, just thinking of families that I know personally or just in general, families in our neighborhood, community, and nation who have suffered great loss due to their loved ones perishing whether in violence or whether in um, any number of types of conflict serving. Um, may we just pause and lift them up. And I'm very aware that for all the stories that hit the newspapers and the magazines, there are so many layers to um, what's going on around the world that we don't know about. So my prayer is for authentic relationship, for the intent and the striving to have truthful and honorable relationships amongst peoples and nations. And when that is not possible, when tyranny reigns its head and needs to be tapped down, 
that we can do so in the most honorable way possible. It's a conflicted world we live in. And I think of the words of Jesus, who a couple weeks ago in our scripture reading in church from John chapter 14 talks about peace. And he says, my peace I leave with you. Peace be with you. And this sense, this word that's translated peace is shalom in the Hebrew. And a word that doesn't just mean an absence of conflict, but a peace, a shalom that is wholeness, completeness, that can, where we can envision a world where we can come together and listen to one another. Doesn't mean we're all alike. Doesn't mean we all think the same. Doesn't mean we all have the same experiences. But a day like Memorial Day reminds me that there is still work to be done. Not only for those that are literally serving in the armed forces around our country and around the world, but right in my heart and in my relationships and in um, the ways that we exhibit our energy, um, the things that we do or do not do on Facebook or social media, the things that we um, say or do not say. I was interested today to read some headlines saying that a huge number of uh, the Twitter verse right now is external people that are trying to insert their uh, insert division within our American communities and our American people. And Twitter is a great, great way for people to share very brief messages in a very uh, slanted way. <laughs> so. Uh, I just caution all of us, again, as we're on media and social media and looking around and want, getting our um, emotions up, whether in agreement or disagreement of some something or another, uh, that we ask ourselves, do I really need to respond? Do I really need to share that? Do I really need to um, put a like button by it? Uh, is this story or um, account something from a resource that is uh, a real news resource. <laughs> Just a lot of questions that cloud our, what we see and hear and how we engage with our world every day with the uh, personal, you know, the little phone or the tablet or, or the laptop that's in front of us all the time. And so this Memorial Day, as we consider all of those who are lying beneath the ground because of conflicts. Uh, may we commit ourselves anew to strive to be people above the ground who live lives of honor and integrity, of authenticity, who strive to seek understanding, and who will uh, live seeking justice and freedom for all God's children. I know it sounds a little Pollyannish sometimes, but Jesus died for it. And those of us who follow, who try to follow the tenets of Jesus, are invited, are encouraged to live for it, that we may be witnesses of his transformative work even here and even now. And so tonight, um, I'm, I've realized there's a lot of history and things that, and parts of our history that I'm not an expert at. And so one of the things I'm gonna do tonight is they're replaying the History Channel, I think, it's his, is replaying um, a piece on Ulysses Grant that I'm very interested in learning a little bit about, was reading an article about it. So I invite you to check that out. It's gonna start at 9 p.m. my time. 
But I want to go forth singing a song that's one of my favorites. In our United Methodist hymnal, it's number 437. And whenever, you know, being in a church, having a having a patriotic or a national holiday like Memorial Day or Independence Day or Veterans Day in, in a liturgical setting in a church is an sometimes awkward. It's not a religious holiday and Christianity is not an American religion. It is, you know, so we temper and balance our respect and honor of those who live and serve and die uh, with the acknowledgement that our faith and our God is beyond any one nation, that we are not uh, a nationalist uh, religion, and that we also pray for the men and women and children of other nations who have their struggles and for whom we are called to uh, inhabit the planet with. So one of my favorite songs that reminds me, alongside the patriotic songs that we sing, this one reminds me of a sense of humility that in any uh, circumstance, I'm not going to have all the answers. I'm not going to know all the complex layers of conflict of um, life and of death, of victory or of defeat, but that I am called to be a person of humility and who can strive to follow the example of Christ. So this is called, this is my song. It, the tune is um, lovely, it's Finlandia. And so I invite us to uh, take a breath and to go forth into this Memorial Day night, holding deep, if you have people in your life that you've lost, it's just a very tender day, perhaps. Or if you've had uh, family members, you know, the American Memorial Day has kind of, uh, there are families that may not have lost loved ones in conflict or uh, in the service, but families will go to cemeteries on Memorial Day all over the country today to bring flowers or to just pause or to weep or to express their connection to their loved ones. So wherever you are in life, in uh, having those who have died and in those who have um, fought and perhaps lost their lives, may you just be who you are in this tenderness tonight. And so may this poem be a blessing This is my song, O God of all the nations, a song of peace for lands afar and mine. This is my home, the country where my heart is. Here are my hopes, my dreams, my holy shrine. But other hearts in other lands are beating with hopes and dreams as true and high as mine. My country skies are bluer than the oceans, and sunlight beams on clover leaf and pine. But other lands have sunlight too, and clover, and skies are everywhere as blue as mine. Oh, hear my song, thou God of all the nations, a song of peace for their land and for mine. This is my prayer, O Lord of all earth, 
earth's kingdoms. Thy kingdom come on earth, thy will be done. Let Christ be lifted up till all shall serve him, and hearts united learn to live as one. Oh, hear my prayer, thou God of all the nations. Myself I give thee, let thy will be done. That poem is an emotional one for me, and I, when it's uh, sung, and when I uh, pray it in my in my life, and that line of the last uh, verse, "Let Christ be lifted up till all shall serve Him." What does it mean to serve Him, but that He is the Prince of Peace, and so those around the world, whether they are um, explicit followers of Jesus or not, those that live in the example of open hearts and of expanding our world and of learning and listening and being patient and striving for understanding and of lifting up the lowly and of reaching beyond the boundaries. Those are part of the people of Christ. And so this night, dear friends, whatever it is that weighs you down, if you are deeply in a personal space where Memorial Day is, is an important and deep part of your um, emotional feeling, for you or your family or dear friends, or whether it's not, whether it's more of a, of a holiday, of a gathering of people, of eating, of celebrating what it means to have freedoms that we have in our country. May we uh, lift up to God this day the things that we are grateful for. And even in this COVID season, I don't know. I've heard from people who have either themselves or their family members lived through deep strife and suffering. And while we are in a season of inconvenience in some ways, if I, by wearing a mask, can keep someone else safe without even knowing it, then I'm going to do it. And if I, as a part of a congregation in a church, can continue to keep my community safe by ministering online primarily, we're going to do that for a little while. So may you go into this good night in the fullness of God's love and grace, knowing that we are a part of a complex system of uh, this uh, world that we live in. And may we lift up those that we know, those who have died, those that we don't know. May we be prayerful for the conflicts that are going on right now. Those that we don't see in the headline every day, where there are children and women and men that are living and dying May we lift up those that we know are serving in hard circumstances. And may we pray for peace as followers of the Prince of Peace. God's peace be with you this night. May you rest well. May you be surrounded by your loved ones near or far away uh, through the airwaves or if not in person. And may you extend love to someone this week. Amen.